Hello everyone, my name is Mohit and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. This is part 6 of solving SQL challenges playlist and in this video we will discuss on missing product ID detection. So what is this all about? Let's understand. So this left hand side what you are observing is a product table of some e-commerce platform and uh, this table consists of details about inventory okay and if you observe carefully in this table every product has its id one two four five like this okay so what is the expectation the expectation is we have to find missing ids missing ids means in this table id number three is missing id number eight is missing okay and uh, we have only 10 records but in real time there may be n number of products or inventory in this table correct so we need to find out what are the missing ids in this inventory table okay so how we can achieve this using sql query let us see so for that let me switch to ssms okay we already have a table called product so let me select that table select star from product this is the exact data what we have observed in our slide and in this data if we see id number 3 and id number 8 is missing and the expectation is we need to find those ids as a missing id value okay so let me discuss my approach first from this table i'll find out minimum of id value and a maximum of id value so after finding this id value minimum and maximum value I'll try to create series of number in this range from minimum to maximum. So let's say if I got a minimum value as 1 and a maximum value as 10, then I'll create a series of number from 1 to 10 using uh, recursive CT expression. Okay. And uh, using that as a reference, we will then look up in this product table that uh, which all values are not matching from those series of number what we have generated okay so in our series of number what we have generated using a recursive ct we will have all the values starting from 1 to 10 that means 3 and 8 both uh, would be present in that series of numbers what we will generate and if we do a left join on this product table based on this id column then of course we can get all those missing ids correct so I'll follow this approach. So how we can implement this practically? Let us see. So let me first find out minimum value of ID present in this product table. So for that I'll write select minimum of ID from products. Let me run it. Okay. Let me name this column as missing IDs. So this is the first number of our series which we want to generate and this is the minimum value of id okay now we need to create series of number and for that we need to use recursive ct so i'll keep this in a ct expression with missing ids as now this line has already generated value as one which is the minimum value now i need to create two three four up to maximum value of id which is 10 in our case correct so to perform that i'll use union all then i'll write select missing id plus one i'll increment the value means this is one then in second row i'll increase the value by one then it will become two okay and i need to get this column from which table so in our case it is a ct table and this is the name of ct table right so i'll write from i'll copy this table name missing ids and uh, what is the limit till what point we have to keep adding this value for that we need to write a where condition where where missing id should be less than maximum value of this id column right so for that i'll write here select maximum of id okay then i'll do select everything from this c 
TT table. Now I'll run it. Okay. Aggregate functions are not allowed. That means we cannot find this maximum ID value in this way. Okay, no problem. We'll do one thing. We'll try to store the value of this part in a variable. So for that, let me do one thing. Let me declare at the rate max ID. This will be an integer. And I'll set a value for this max ID as this one. Correct? Then I can use this value here. Okay. Now let me run it. Incorrect syntax near keyword width. Okay. I need to put semicolon here. We got series of number what we wanted. Minimum ID value was 1. Maximum ID value was 10. And we have created series of numbers starting from 1 to 10. Right. So we can use this result in order to achieve our output. Okay. So for that, let me do one thing. We'll write left join. Then we can use products table alias name as P. And let me provide this an alias name as M. Okay. Now I need to write on condition on on which ID we have this column M dot missing ID equals P dot ID, right? Product table as ID column. And uh, this missing ID is table which we have created here has a missing ID column on which we are performing our joins. Okay. And uh, this is the left table in which we have all the IDs, the series of numbers, right? And in this product table, we have some missing IDs. So in order to get those missing IDs, I need to write a filter condition where P dot ID is null because after left join whatever ids which are missing in this product table will have a null value okay and then i can get those values of missing ids so let me do one thing before executing this query with where condition let me comment this out and let us see how the total output looks like without this where condition and what we need to do in order to perform this filter okay so let me run this whole query without where condition first this column is from CT expression and these three columns are from product ID. So this column has a series of numbers starting from 1 to 10, which is minimum to maximum value. And we are doing left join here. So whatever value which are not present in this ID column of product table, the value will come as null. Okay. Here and here. So anyhow, if we are able to find these two values, 3 and 8, these are nothing but missing values. So these are the required output and how we can do this if we write a where condition where this id and this id value is null so if we are performing this we can get the required output so that is what we are doing here where p dot id is null now let me run it we got this right now we need only this column we need the value of ids only right so for that i will do in place of star, I write m dot missing id as missing id. Now let me run it again. Okay, so this is the required answer what we want. Now let me go back to slide. See, we are getting three and eight as an output. The same query we have written. First, we have declared a variable. In order to find a maximum id value then we created a ct expression and try to generate a series of number starting from minimum product id to maximum product id value in our case it was from 1 to 10. so this ct expression generated those series of numbers and using those as an output and after performing left join with product table plus this filter condition in the end we got this as an output 3 and 8. okay That's it guys for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you have enjoyed this content, then uh, please don't forget to show your support by liking this video and uh, subscribing to my channel.
and uh, please make sure to hit the bell icon to receive the notifications about the new video updates. We'll meet in our next video with a new challenge. So please stay tuned. Till then, take care and goodbye.